Okay, so we've talked about work. Um, we've defined what we mean by work and how we calculated a force through some distance, but why would we bother, you know, making up this new variable and calculating it? Well, the reason is because of the work energy principle. And the work energy principle says that the work on an object, the net work on an object, is equal to the change of the kinetic energy of the object. So work is something that's done. Work is part of a process. It happens over some path. Energy just is. Energy is a property that a system or a particle has. So by doing work on the object, or sometimes we talk about letting the object do work on not object, on the rest of the you know, universe, it changes the kinetic energy. And what is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is pretty simple. It's one-half mv squared. And it's just a scalar. So all that hard work that we've been doing on vectors, now we have just a number, and it's measured in joules, just like work is, of course, because if one thing is the change in another thing, they have to have the same units. So I might mention here a couple of things about this. First of all, um, to help you kind of see why this might be, let's consider a simple force, a constant force, over some... Uh, basic distance x, let's say. And notice then that my claim is that this is the change in the kinetic energy, so it's the change in 1 half mv squared. But what if we didn't have that simple case of uh, a force over some distance? What if we actually had a force, in this case now, let's write it as ma, and let's say that it's in the same direction as the x, um, axis, so we could write this as dx, and A was just the acceleration in the x direction, so V will be also in the x direction. So this is some force, say from point A to point B in the x direction. So what's going on here? Well, I can write A as dV dt, right? And now, I'm allowed to do this. I can take the m, I can leave the dv there, and I can make the dx dt. I just moved the dt, and now we're going to call this v. So this becomes m times the integral of v dv. Well, I know what that is. That's m times 1 half v squared from initial to final. So that's 1 half mv squared final minus one-half mv squared initial, which is just what we had here. So I've sort of not really derived this, but I guess maybe justified it, um, going from some initial point to some final point. But in fact, this is going to be true in lots of general cases. So we have that the work done on an object gives you the total, the total work gives you the change in the kinetic energy of that object. Now the Knight textbook talks about this a little bit differently, and so to understand that, check out the next lecture.